the Zinchenko got some game time last season, Claudio Bravo as well. And the likes of Nemecha and Diaz uh, were involved, Phil Foden at the bottom as well, have been involved in the first team last season. Very, very strong, a first involvement, of course, uh, pre-season for Gini Vinal after he's come back from the slight injury and illness that held him back so far. Chance for Curtis. The graphics, and as you saw, Mohamed Salah's name wasn't quite right there. <laughs> Solin uh, and that's why the surface doesn't look the great. We are. I'll tell you what, George, she got around the pitch a bit, didn't she? <laughs> She's an active girl. <laughs> you name a Taylor Swift song? Not a clue. Okay. Got his cap on tonight to protect him from the rain. Bolton to the right, here's Nemecha, saved by the goalkeeper, and the follow-up goes. Joe Gomez is just a little bit off Nemecha. And he made sure he hit the target but didn't tickle. Bolton's done really well to ride the challenge of Robertson. Just wonder had he gone down when the initial challenge was made because Robertson didn't look to get any bend this pace here, Bolton. I'll tell you what, player of more experience and a little bit more savvy and maybe a little... Zinchenko is really lining one up here. And he's certainly got hold of it. Just dragged it a little. You could see his intention, wasn't it? It was all very... Like a better striker than that if he's going to beat Kais from that sort of distance. Not seen anyone. Milner with Liverpool's corner. Here comes Lallana, stabs at it. Wasn't far away, Bravo was certainly scrambling. This comes from another corner. That's an earlier. Jones. Well, his second goal at beating Claudio Bravo on his left foot. Again, it's not the best striker of his arriving. It's Klein, touch, cross, man arriving, Jones. And we'll feel that's the best chance of the three that he's had in this first half. It's really, really good. Humphries has just caught a little bit ball watching and the delivery is good from the right hand side from Klein. Cummins Jones just gets that head in front. It's a chance, but it's a difficult one. Lovely ball. Marne. Still got it. Still might bundle his way through. And that might end up in the back of the net. Cameron Humphries did well to stretch. It was this a positive start to the second half. Tries to bundle his way through there. It's Humphreys that gets the clearance eventually. It's Humphreys almost knocks it past his own goalkeeper, isn't it? Didn't, by Amane's didn't knee. see the touch prior. That's a clean pair of heels. It's been shown for Fabinho and Sane. Brilliant save by Kelleher. Yeah, he's done so well as the young man. Contest. Luke Bolton again using his pace to great effect. Fabinho really tried water here, it's a mismatch in the racing six stakes, it's a lovely little square pass as well, Sani obviously thinks it's just too easy to put it in the back of the net he doesn't bank on the fact that the goalkeeper it's going to come to Sadio Mane it's going to be a free kick rush from class throws the ball away then just dives up in the air no contact whatsoever this Marnie and Woodburn walk away. Drew Robertson also fancies it as well. It is Van Dijk. Let's clip the end man on the wall. I wonder how close it would have been, but for that little touch off the defender. More than it. Oh, Sane playing centrally again and running in behind Van Dijk. And maybe this time he can find a way through. He can. Slick from Leroy Sane. Just that electric pace took him away from the Liverpool back four. And he makes no mistake in putting the ball past Kelleher this time. Ball oh, here. Yeah. Just see there. Virgil van Dijk just gets squared up a little bit. Can't get going quick enough. Sani, you saw him miss that chance earlier on. He's not going to squander two in a row. Kelleher, 
can do no nothing about. Well, it's the pace that he has and the ability to make runs in behind, a bit like how Sadi Mane has done here. I'll say he just did enough to close off the run of. Well, here comes the man. Listen to the reception for Mohamed Salah in New York. Oh, Salah's there! He's back, and he's scoring already. Seconds after coming on, Mohamed Salah re-announces himself. That well, was only his second touch. What, what took him so long to score? Unbelievable stuff. But in the inside, whips in a lovely ball. Questions whether he was offside or not, but referee's assistant doesn't give it. It's all about the ability to be able to finish. We saw it last season. Could finish with his left foot, his head, his right foot. Could do anything. This this boy, Joe Hart, from that sort of distance, got absolute. Mares with the free kick. Callagher with a comfortable take. And Irishman wanting to get the ball moving quickly. There's everyone who's made way for the Marino. Will come to Sadio Mane. Mane's cross and Salah's there again and very nearly with touch number three he had his second goal Cameron Humphreys did really well to get in the way a oh, really good pick out by Salah isn't it Humphreys does exceptionally well because he gets his body turned back around to face the ball face the play and just to Solanke Mane to win the game and he's gone too far around Joe Hart and is unable to turn it into the back of the net a wonderful intricate build up from Liverpool on the edge of Man City's 18 yard. He might pink the goalkeeper. Certainly, if Salah had been in this position, he would have just lifted it over the advance from Joe Hart. He doesn't do that. Manny takes it round the goalkeeper, and that touch has to be a lot bit better. The first one, first one just takes it too wide of the goalkeeper, takes it too wide of the goals, gives himself a. going to come towards Mohamed Salah again and the referee is going to give a penalty here well Liverpool might not need penalties in total to win it they're going to get a penalty right in the last minute Dominic Solanke taken out Manchester City's players complain I thought he might have been offside it's a coming together isn't it a barge in the back but I think it's a soft one when he doesn't win the ball in the arm cameras out everyone ready Sadio Mane to win it for Liverpool and does Liverpool have a deserved win against Manchester City in New York Sadio Mane applies the finishing touch you have to say Liverpool have given Manchester City one heck of a going over They've been exceptionally good most of the second half, to be honest with you, but certainly since Mane and Salah have combined up front, which is a little bit unfair in maybe in Manchester City because it's certainly not the strongest starting 11 normally. It's certainly the, the guys that have come on as well. But Liverpool have really been impressive in the second half. It's been more like the Liverpool we saw last season. Well, it was a game that was a little limited. It really spoiled the game, but certainly made like a really entertaining game I think the players that have come on have certainly played their part the Liverpool was stung late in stoppage time by Borussia Dortmund the other day it shouldn't be time for them to get stung tonight by Manchester City Liverpool do have a dramatic late victory the return of Salah and Mane putting Liverpool back on track Mane from the spot Salah scoring as as soon as he came on, that after Manchester City had started the second half really brightly and Leroy Sane had put them in front. But it was a different game once Salah and Mane were on the field together. And Liverpool have got themselves a deserved win in New